pertinent to recall the fact that following the grave injustice meted out to Olu Erejua II, he visited His Royal Majesty Oba Akenzua II of Benin and recounted his ordeal. In a reaction, a curse was placed on the land by both of them. It is not recorded that Olu Erejua II reversed the curse over the land. Neither is it recorded that Oba Akenzua II did the same. Most probably, the issue was never revisited. As a firm believer in the intricate interconnectedness between the spiritual and the manifestation in the physical, it is our firm belief that the matter needs to be addressed. Today, in our capacity as Olu, we hereby avow. As the spiritual, cultural, political, and traditional ruler of this land, I, Ogiame, Atuashe the third, the twenty-first Olu of Wari, the first son of Olu Atuashe the second, the grandson and direct descendant of Olu Erejua the second who was offended on this throne, I hereby reverse the curse placed over this land. In its place, I release forgiveness and healing to the federal government of Nigeria, whose might was used to propagate that offense. And I decree unprecedented and uncommon peace prosperity, progress, development upon this land. I bring down the government of heaven onto this land and I direct it to flow as a force that can neither be sabotaged, slowed, nor stopped. It goes out as a strong ripple effect emanating from this kingdom to the rest of the Niger Delta, to the rest of the Nigerian nation, and even the African continent. Don't go on Terre, Chola, and Miko, not your 